So I can confirm with you that we have finally resolved uh, the matters which were surrounding the Black Mountain in Kitwe. And now there will be a new page opened. And uh, those that will be operating will be operating under a legal entity which will be supervised and monitored by the Minister of um, uh, Mines and Mineral Development. They have waited for this news for a long time. 10% of the copper-rich slag dump in Usakire is now in the hands of the small-scale miners, popularly known as Jirabos. And what followed is this, a procession to celebrate the good news. This was the scene on the streets of Kitwe this morning. Tipper track after tipper track of Jirabos literally took over the central business district. The truckloads of youths, mostly from Musakre Township, brought the central business district to a standstill. In typical Jirabo fashion, the driver of this vehicle drove throughout the march pass in reverse. The march pass was organized by the Patriotic Front in Kitwe District, and Jirabos joined in. PF Kitwe District Chairman Christopher Kangombe marched alongside prominent Jirabo commanders like Chile One, Simi and Eban. Later, the procession gathered at the PF Kitwe district offices on Kantanta Street. Here, the Jirabo commanders gave a rare show of unity and thanked President Edgar Lungu for legalizing their mining activities. Politicians too address the hundreds of people who gathered at the PF offices. If we chishele ko pamongo obu teko, tufure tuwa mi wombela tuwa mi sekesha. E, ichole loba kateka noko muli, na mashi wayo mule unfakuno kukitwe. Tulefo oku milayo kutila, imiri motion session mule womba, avantu bale totela. Nkana Aloy, the owners of the Black Mountain, still retains 90%, while the Jirabos will only utilize 10%. The Minister of Mines is currently working out modalities for the Jerabos to start exploiting the Black Mountain legally. Poshalala, ZNBC News in Kitwe.